Good day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Tuesday, sort of almost lunchtime here in Australia and the market has bounced back hard. Very hard, I mean it's up nearly 20% from where it was. Now, I am mindful that this could be a dead cat bounce. I don't think it's going to be, but in the back of my mind it definitely is. And look, for me, if it is, then it is. As I've said before, guess what I'm going to continue to do? I'm just going to continue to keep buying until it starts to go up. Now, I got heavily into the altcoin market today. So, the not yesterday, I think it was over the last few days anyway, I've been buying Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I bought a bit of Chainlink. Now, I did have some usdc that was sitting on uh blockfi and i transferred it over to buy the altcoins unfortunately it took till this morning to get there so i've missed out on uh, a lot of this over the last 24 hours uh, i did get in earlier today so already a few hours ago so most of them are already up a little bit but as i've said before i'm not too concerned if i don't get the exact bottom not everyone's going to what i'm looking at is yeah i missed out on a lot of this stuff over the last 24 hours but I haven't missed out on a lot of this stuff. This is what I've gained. This is the upside that I am potentially looking at. Now again, it could be a dead cat bounce and it goes down. And if it goes down, I'm really just going to kind of leave the altcoins. I'm not going to put too much more too too much more money. That doesn't sound uh, put any more money into the altcoins. <laughs> God, excuse me. I'm just going to focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Really, if we continue to go down, maybe a little bit of Cardano and a little bit of Polygon because I really like them, but mainly Bitcoin and Ethereum is what I'll be focusing on. But I really did kind of stack up on both Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, and a bit of Chainlink a few days ago. So again, we'll get into the altcoins and the things in a minute, but look, 18.3%, 1.759. This was down at $1.4 trillion. So very quickly, and again, I'm, I'm mindful that it could be a dead cat bounce, although I don't think it's going to be. Bitcoin dominance back up at 41%. So that's good for Bitcoin. And I think Bitcoin will probably get on a bit of a run at some stage. But look, no one really knows. It's never financial advice. And ETH dominance up around 18% and gas prices nice and low, which is really, really good. All right. So as we can see, it's basically a sea of green in the last 24 hours. Hardly anything's gone down. USDC. That's because I spent a bit of USDC just this morning, literally only about two and a half, three hours ago. All right, let's have a look though. What's really pumped in the last 24 hours? What's done extremely well? Well, there we go, Polygon. Unfortunately, I did buy some Polygon, only a very small amount uh, and only for a few dollars cheaper than what it is. So I did miss out on that, but that's all right. I got uh, fairly sizable bags of Polygon back when it was like two cents, three cents, and even under two cents, I got a little bit. So I'm not too worried. Terra Luna, I jumped on this uh, straight away. Again, I've missed a lot of this, but it was down 70%, and so that's why I got onto Terra Luna. Uh, and again, we'll go through all the things that I've got on. But just in the last 24 hours, if you were lucky enough to get in yesterday uh, and the day before, oh, you are absolutely cheering. I mean, up 50% in 24 hours. A lot of these things, 40%, 40%, 39%. So again, unfortunately, because it took me a little while to get my USDC, I wasn't able to take advantage of all of this, but I still have all of this to go. And that's what I'm looking at. So, you know, tons of gains. Everything's basically 20 plus percent. Has anything really lost? Is there anything that got smacked around a bit? I think there was a couple of coins. So yep, stacks. That pumped uh, fairly hard and is down a little bit. So this is something I'm going to be looking to get into. Uh, I like stacks. Uh, down, see, 23% over the last seven days. Uh, Leo token. So, yeah, really, it's the stable coins that are kind of down a little bit, and that's because everyone's currently spending them, uh, jumping into all the altcoins and things like that. And there was big news that $5 billion worth of USDC was printed the other day. Now, generally, when that's getting printed, that's not because we're about to go into a bear market. It's because they wanted money on the sides to jump in, and I'd say they really have jumped in in a big way. So, again, my gut feeling is the bottom is in, but even if it's not, I'm not too worried. I don't think we're too far off the bottom. I think that $5 billion was printed so people could get in. 
But, you know, we'll wait and see. And USDC's never printed that much before. That's an absolute record for them. And who knows how much Tether's printed. We'll have to wait and see. All right, so now I'm not going to go into any news stories at the moment because really the news is, you know, the market's up 20%. You know, it's been getting hammered. Uh, cryptocurrencies in general and the news you know oh, this is why it's a ponzi and it's not a you know safe asset yeah look it retraced you know massive amounts but in 24 hours it's regained you know a third to you know or more of those kind of losses so unfortunate for the people who bought at the top hopefully they were smart and didn't panic but even better if they had more money sitting on the side and DCA'd in. Again, that's why you don't chuck it all in. I mean, if you chucked it all in at the bottom of this dip and it turns out to be the bottom, congratulations, you are an absolute star and that is amazing. You're probably going to do really well. I can't offer you financial advice, but if it's the bottom like I think it is, you're probably going to see some massive upside. But anyway, let's have a look. So we'll just refresh this and go back to... Um, the regular chart and then I'm going to have a look at what I bought in all right so I bought in at Cardano Cardano I bought in at less than a dollar 59 so what I want to have a look at is so a dollar 59 and that's not the cheapest price but what's the all-time high two dollars 45 I think we're going to recapture that two dollars 45 so even buying in at a dollar 49 you're not too far off doubling your money right there just by getting back to the all-time highs. So that's why I bought this dip. It's not because I think this is the best price and I'm going to turn this into millions of dollars and things like that, but almost everything I'm looking at is still around about 50% off its all-time highs. So really, the upside potential is about a minimum of doubling your money. Now that's a minimum, that's just if we get back to old all-time highs. That's not including if we go either further, so that's what I looked at. It's again, not that I think eight is the best price right now, but I can put my money in and almost double my money just by getting back to all-time highs. So I bought a little bit of Cardano, and really not too much Cardano, there's other ones I went more heavy into. Polkadot, I did put a bit into this, $23.34, and again, I got it a little bit cheaper. It's all-time high is $49. It's literally down 50%, 51% from its old, old all-time high. That is a double your money if we get back there. And it's still if, again, no guarantees in life, but I'm pretty confident uh, Polkadot is going to go way past that. Now, again, that's just my personal advice. It's not financial advice. None at all. I can't offer you that. But that is why I bought in. And look, it could continue to go lower. This could all be a dead cat bounce. But either way, my bags are packed for when it finally does go up. And, you know, look, it might take me three years. It could take me four years before it starts to go up. I am confident that I've invested in good projects. Now, does that mean they're all going to do well? No, I only need a couple to do well. But I think I've generally pick some pretty good projects but time will tell so polka dot uniswap bought it uh, again i think it was about 23 dollars, 22 dollars. i might have i bought it at again it's about 50 percent down from its old all-time highs so that is again i'm basically doubling my money just by it getting back to its old all-time highs if it then sets new all-time highs after that i'm doing even better so that is why I just thought everything was too good an opportunity at the moment. Litecoin, I mean, that's way down. $189, $410. Again, it's over double at the moment. Again, pretty much everything. There's hardly anything except for Cardano and Polygon. They were the only two things that I was really looking at that you couldn't sort of double your money, but it wasn't too far off. Everything else, again, so good. V chain, 11 cents. I got it a little bit cheaper. It was at 28 cents. You can nearly triple your money on V chain by getting back in. Triple your money if it gets back to its old all time high. And again, I got V chain a lot cheaper. I got a big bag of V chain. I can't even remember what price it was, but it was, let's go. It was roughly a year ago. It was a little bit more. So I was getting it for less than a cent. I was literally getting it for half a cent. So VeChain's done extremely well for me, and I think it's going to bounce back, uh, go past that. And there's people talking about it getting to a dollar. So if it's going to get to a dollar, and it's a big if, 
you're buying at 11 cents that's basically a 10x from here that's why you have to have cash on the side and take advantage of these dips it's very scary i understand that i've been exactly the same i was nervous buying the last few days and definitely nervous buying today considering things have already pumped 20 30 percent but i wasn't worried about the short term i'm not thinking what happens if it goes down tomorrow or for another week or two i am literally looking at the all-time highs i'm going to basically double triple my money on that and i'm confident it will get there it's just when it will get there i'm not exactly 100 percent sure of but that is one hell of a retracement usually outside of it being a bear market it's going to bounce back and i just don't think we're in a bear market yet filecoin another one this is i thought this was a great buy 74 dollars. i'm spewing i didn't get it yesterday it was even cheaper 236 dollars it's nearly a 70 percent you're almost yeah the, it was nearly giveaway prices again not that long ago it was down at 63 dollars, so 10 dollars cheaper so i'm kicking myself i didn't have that money yesterday but anyway it is what it is Aave, 384 dollars. i've got a couple of Aave, only a couple because it's fairly expensive 661 dollars again that's not too far if you're not quite doubling your money it's a little bit less but again it just has to get back to all-time highs and you're going to make a sweet profit synthetics 13 dollars. i think i got it at around about 12 dollars today thereabouts 28 dollars. again i'm basically doubling my money if it gets back to its all-time highs and all the money i've put in today chilies something i wanted to get into ages ago i wanted more exposure to the nft space uh, and you know it had just rocketed up by too much again i got in a little bit less than 26 cents it was nearly a dollar <laughs> so i'm basically not quite but i mean i'll two and a half times my uh money just if it gets back to its all-time high i think it'll get back to its all-time high and go much higher how much higher i don't know and again i just wanted more exposure to the nft space the graph oh, 82 cents two dollars 84 it's basically tripling your money from its old all-time highs thereabouts now again i'm not saying it can't go lower it definitely could but i'm not worried about the short term if i if i didn't pick it right and it goes a little bit lower then so be it but i have absolute faith it's going to get back to its old all-time highs and again i bought it a lot cheaper i got a big bag of it this is just some cash that i had on the side again i'm just looking at i'm going to double triple my money if these things get back to all-time highs voyager i'm spewing i missed out on this one i was going to buy it a long time ago when it was literally under a dollar and i didn't well i picked it up at two dollars sixty now again under a dollar would have been so much better it was worth 12 bucks 12 dollars it's down nearly 80 percent from its old all-time highs oh i am more than happy to do that so let's just round that up to three dollars how many threes go into 12 four so it's a 4x on my money if it makes it back to its old all-time highs i was more than happy to do that alpha finance now this one is from uh, token metrics uh, it got a pretty good score so i picked it up at about 92 cents it's still a fairly new project but i'm basically again going to triple my money if it gets back to its old all-time highs triple my money now again there's no guarantees in life maybe it doesn't but if it gets back to its old all-time highs i triple my money and if it goes even higher then i do even better again audius a dollar 14 a very new project it's been nearly five dollars that's a 5x a 5x on your money now i never bought audius cheap i'm still at a loss by about 20 30 percent but basically i just kept buying it as it went down because again uh, it got a very good score on token metrics i like the fundamentals i like the team and all the rest of it so i was happy to buy and look if i get it wrong and it never comes back and i lose all my money I didn't put that much money into Audius in the first place. I haven't put that much money into any of these, really. This was just cash on the side. I saw the opportunity. It was too good. Super Farm, LEO Trades. Again, 78 cents. Uh, I'm at a loss buying this. I bought it probably about a week ago and it dumped and then I bought it today. So I'll definitely be at a loss, but I'm confident it'll go back up. 78 cents. It was at nearly $5. Again, I can 5X my money 
if it gets back to its old all-time highs. And if I'm wrong, I haven't put in my life savings. So five extra return. Terra Luna, as I spoke, $6.40. This was $22. Again, that's nearly a 4x on my money if it gets back to its old all-time highs. And last but not least, Secret Network, which is kind of a fork of Enigma, which I've spoke about a long time ago. I like the Enigma project, but they uh, got a fine from the SEC, and so now it's more SRT, Secret Network. $1.57. Now, I got this uh, a whole lot cheaper, my bag of it, but I bought some at around this price. Again, probably $1.55 or something like that. It's been worth $5.38. Again, I'm going to basically 4x my money if it gets back to its old all-time highs. There was bargains and discounts all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. Now, my only problem now is I've spent so much of my cash, I really don't have a whole lot of cash left to buy things if it goes down lower. I do have my sort of, you know, fortnightly bits and pieces of money. So if it goes lower from here, I'm just going to focus on Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum. Uh, possibly Cardano and Polygon. We'll have to wait and see because they really didn't get hit too much in this dip. So that says to me that they're still really strong and there could be a bigger retracement coming from them at another time. And look, I just have really good bags, excuse me, of those. Look, right, so that's it for me. This is uh, all the stuff that I literally bought today. Uh, well, at least I think it is. I can't remember. I really went shopping today. Again, I had money on the side waiting for this stuff. And I put most of that money on the side into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I haven't, you know, put, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. I might have put a thousand dollars into some of these and others I didn't even put that much in. It was literally a whole lot less. And that is why when they start to go up and make money and eventually they will, I am going to be taking profits along the way. Probably when they get to around about their old all-time highs, I will not just get the money that I put back in and have that sitting on the side for the next time there's a big dip, if I think uh, that it will continue to go up after another big dip. We'll just have to wait and see. But that's me. That's my plan. You know how I'm doing it. If you choose to copy what I'm doing, remember that's on you. I'm not offering you financial advice. and This is just how I operate and the way I'm doing it. And if you, you know, want to copy me, then I hope it works really well for you. It's worked really well for me. But again, I have to let everyone know, I don't plan on putting all my money just constantly back into crypto. I'm happy to do it now because I believe there's a ton more upside, but I will be taking profits and putting them into other things. I'm going to diversify into property. I'm going to diversify back into some shares, uh, all sorts of things, you know, maybe buy myself some gold and stuff that I don't know. Uh, probably more into silver and things like that. But yeah, I've already, I mean, I do have some shares and stuff at the moment. I don't have any property. That's really something I'd like to get into. But I'm heavily invested in crypto at the moment because I believe in the long-term future. Uh, and again, if we do go into a bear market and this was a dead cat bounce, I'm not going to panic. I'm just going to hold. I've learned my lesson from last time that if you hold long enough and you're in good projects, they will get back to their old all-time highs and then they will go beyond their old all-time highs. Now, I don't know if all of these projects are going to do it, but I, I'm fairly confident that they're good projects with good teams and most of these, well, I wouldn't say most, but a number of them anyway have been around for a while and I don't think they're going anywhere. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Everybody should be on that gain train at the moment, you know, unless you kind of bought two weeks ago, then you still might be down. But hey, just hold and I'll see you next time.